Another classic optimization problem. You can run at six meters per second and swim at three. We're going to start you in the water 500 meters away from shore and you need to get to a point on shore, but that point is a kilometer, 1,000 meters downstream. Where should you swim to or what angle should you swim at to minimize the time it takes to get there? Let's draw this for ourselves so we can see what's going on. I'm gonna draw the shore here in green for grass, and I'm going to put you right here out at sea. You. All right, what measurements do we have? Well, we know that we are 500 meters away from shore, and we know that that is 1,000 meters away from the point you want to get to. So, let's recap. If you mm, swam straight towards shore, that would certainly get you to shore quickly, but then you'd be running the full kilometer back to here. If you started swimming directly to here, you're going to not waste a lot of extra distance covered, but you're going to be using your slowest method to do the whole distance. There's probably a magic distance in here where you can swim to some point downstream on shore and then book it by running to your destination. The real question is, where is that point? And the answer is somewhere, I'm going to call it X meters downstream. So let's see, how far are you going to be swimming? Well, let's see. Da, 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 da. The distance you swim is this. Oh, I missed the point. <laughs> Damn it. Let's ignore that one and I'll just pretend that I hit shore here. There you go, this whole length is X. So the distance that you end up swimming is, oh, how are we gonna calculate that? The answer is Pythagorean theorem. It's the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle. It's the square root of x squared plus 500 squared. My units are in meters. Then, what distance are we going to have run? The answer to that is easier because it was a full kilometer, a full thousand meters, but we're shaving x off of that, so it's just 1,000 minus x. Now, the only other tricky thing is you figuring out an expression for the time required. The time required is always going to be the distance you covered divided by the speed. Now, we're going to have to do this in two legs and add the times on top of each other. The distance you swim is the square root of x squared plus 500 squared divided by your speed swimming. That's three, see? three, and the distance you cover by running is a thousand minus x divided by your speed, that's six. This is the equation that bases time off of x, the distance downstream that you swam to, and to minimize time, we can take the derivative of this with respect to x. Let's do that together. I'm just gonna have to rewrite it for myself here. That was nothing. Time equals, it seems to me it's one third x squared plus 500 squared all to the power of a half plus a thousand over six minus a sixth of x. I've cleaned this up a little so that it's easier to take the derivative of. All right, the derivative of time, or t prime, or if you wanna call it dt by dx, you're more than welcome to, is the derivative of this. We'll keep the constant out front, bring the exponent down, that's one half, keep the inside the same, and notch the exponent down by one, that's power rule, times the derivative of the inside, that's chain rule, it's just two x, 500 squared is a constant. Plus the derivative of this, which is zero because it's a constant, minus the derivative of this, which is just one sixth. There we go. We are setting this equal to zero 
to solve for the x that minimizes time. All right, this is going to take a little bit of work though. We have 1 over 6. The top is multiplied by 2x and the bottom also has this square root of x squared plus 500 squared in it. The negative brings it to the denominator of the fraction and the half is what causes it to be square rooted. Um, and I'm going to move my 1 sixth to the other side, so I have this. Those sixes cancel. I end up with 2x equals, I'm going to cross multiply, so I get 2x equals x squared plus 500 squared. To solve this, I'm going to square both sides. That gives me 4x squared equals x squared plus 500 squared. I'm going to move the x's all to one side. That's 3x squared equals 500 squared. I'm going to solve for x by taking this 500 squared, dividing it by the 3, and square rooting it. I end up with 500 over root 3. So, the distance downstream that we need to swim to is whatever 500 divided by the square root of 3 is, it ends up being 289 approximately. Which means we want to swim downstream by 289 meters, and then we're going to run the extra 711 meters. Now the actual question here was at what angle should you swim? You could solve for this angle theta if you really wanted to answer the question explicitly. To solve for that, I would point out that tan theta is 289. That's opposite over 500. That's adjacent. So this divided by 500. And then I'm going to tan inverse it. I'm personally going, oh, pi over 6. That's exactly 30 degrees. Well, that's weird. I wonder if I, I wonder if that's a, uh, I wonder if it's exactly 30 just because of the numbers that I picked. These are a factor of two off of each other and these are a factor of two off of each other. Your answer will never be that pretty. But mine is and I wasn't expecting it. Hopefully you can solve for your own theta on your own with derivatives and trig when you get a question like this. The key is to have a value x for the distance that you cover along the shoreline by swimming diagonally. You can do it. Put your mind into it. Best of luck.